What's going on guys? So uh, today I got a final of this Iwashima um, Impreza WRX STI. <laughs> See that time that's fast. I got the manual here to read off because I forgot the name of it last video. Um, so this is a Subaru and uh, this is a lot for my brother. Because um, I mentioned this a million times, uh, I'll mention it again. This is a model for my brother because he likes Subarus and this is one of the Subarus cars he likes. He likes three of them. I'll put all three of them on screen for you guys. Well, you got this one and you got the R2. So there's the R2 on screen. And I found one of them in the model. So I was like, yep, let me get that. So, wait. So, this is the model he's going to get. He's going to get a case for it. And he's gonna get it as a gift for his birthday. So, but before his birthday, before I give it to his birthday, um, I'm gonna take this down to Acme because this is definitely going to Acme to see to show you guys. And so you guys can have a good look at it before he takes it and it's no longer mine and all hell breaks loose. So, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, so before he takes it, I'm gonna show you guys and then I'll take it down there and. Let me guys look at it and before he takes it on his hands. So that'd be cool. So all right. So the blue is the splash paints. Blue. I don't know the name of it because it's in the paint booth. Uh heavens me. So <laughs> and I actually went in the last video, but it is like a really it's like a it looks like um a Mustang boss blue, if you guys know what that is. It's like a navy. It's like a ultra blue kinda. Very light blue, very cool. So that's by Splash Paints, and a clear coat is by Spray Gunner, the 2K clear. My favorite clear, don't know why. So that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I didn't, this is kit, this kit is supposed to be like a race car, uh, I guess. Because it's like liveries, or there's like decals goes on it and stuff, like sponsors. I didn't want that, because I don't want it to be a normal street vehicle. So I didn't put any of that stuff on there. I just put the you know necessary decals on like a Subaru and the name of it and the uh, reflectors down here. And that's pretty much what decals I put on. The interior is the Tamiya colors, dark gray and um, cloud gray. So very nice combo of interior. I'm really happy what choice I did with that. Because I looked at some images of the interior in this car, and they're, it's mostly black, but I didn't want to go with black. I kind of want to break up a little bit, because it's a lighter color, and I kind of want like a light gray kind of accent in there. You know what I mean? So, that's pretty neat. And this kit actually comes with the left and right hand drive dash. I can tell this kit only came with a right hand dash, because the foot pedal, where you like a dead man pedal, however heck you call it, that's actually molded in the four pan on the right side. So as I can tell this kit never had the left hand dash. So that's my wonders because I just noticed that Dead Man Puddle was molded on the right hand side. Or the left, yeah, right hand side. So I drew it out, I got my Dremel and I kind of grind it right out. Didn't really need to because you're not going to see it, but it's the purpose. So. <laughs> So, yeah, so that's pretty neat. I'm kind of glad they included a left hand drive. I don't want no European car, which I don't mind. Their European cars are pretty neat. I love how the taillights, the taillights, they said keep them clear. And I'm going to get some images of this car, and they are clear, except the ends. They're red, so I got the uh, Sharpie. Uh, you know, the actual name brand Sharpie. <laughs> uh, that Those dry instantly, a lot better than the Tamiya clears. That looks good. They wanted the hood black, but I did it body color because it's a normal street car, and that looks pretty neat. The windows, there's two sets of windows, there's bigger windows, and there's tinted windows for the back. So I obviously with the tinted, because it's, a, it's SUV, i never seen no SUV with non-tinted rear windows, so <laughs> I was with the tinted. That's pretty neat. Uh, the chassis, I don't show it on the picture on screen for you guys. The chassis is nothing special because there's no engine. There's it's just there's just a big, you know, brush guard, like guard guard, you know, goes under the engine. So there's that, and you know, there's probably I think if I whenever correctly, there's probably eight parts to that chassis. Very little parts count, but hey, you're not gonna see the bottom of it anyway. So so 
doesn't really matter. All that matters to me is the interior and the body. The wheels are pretty neat. I actually like how they come stock with the kit. They're like a, like a aluminum color, not like chrome like what Revell does. It's, I don't know. I like how they came out. So, cut them how they are, and I kind of scuffed up the tires, make them look a bit used. And that's pretty much about it. I love the antenna up here. I actually didn't paint that. That's actually the plastic color. But, you know, because it's, it's like a shiny metallic. Not metallic, it's like a shiny, you know, black. So, I didn't even paint it. I just kept it body. I just kept it the styrene color, you know what I mean? So, I just glued it on there, and it looks pretty darn good. So, there's a trick for this kit. Uh, the mirrors. Um, they make you glue it on the actual window. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't like doing that because you're putting glue on the window and you're pretty much a chance it's going to haze it. So I found a trick. I got this stuff right here from AC Moore. Or yeah, I'm sure you know, Hobby Lobby, you know, Michael's probably sell this stuff. So let's actually stop this real quick. Let me show you guys a little trick. The two mirrors. Mirrors off the side. They found glue dots. They're, you know, you know, you have credit cards come in the mail, and it's like sticky to the paper, but you can peel it off. Yeah, that's what this is. See, so they're really, they're literally sticky glue dots, and it peels off easily and stuff. So that's what I did to the mirrors. I actually got one of these, and you can stretch them. You know, they're stretchable, and that's what I did to the mirrors. So I can show you. So I'm gonna take this in Acme because you know. And I don't want the mirrors big enough, I glue them, so, like, what do we, see, I glue them on, you just get a little dab of it, just stretch it on the bottom of, you know, the mirror, and it just, it sticks there, it's really sticky stuff, but yeah, it comes off super clean, and there you go, no more messy glue on the, you know, the clear part, because I'm afraid that, I put glue on that, it's gonna heize it. Even the Super Gold Plus, I didn't want to chance that stuff. So, especially, you know, my brother's gonna take it and I think it would act me. I don't want the mirrors breaking off when it's going down there. So, that's one neat idea for you guys. A little trick we have, like, a mostly Yoshima to me, kids, to make you glue the mirrors on the actual window itself. So, glue dots. Right there. AC Moore, any hobby shop, you know, arts and crafts store should have them. And they come in different sizes. I got the smallest size. Uh, right there. Five millimeter. So it comes in a big, big roll, so. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. But alright night guys, that's pretty much about it for this build. But once again, this is coming to this is coming on to Acme in a few weeks, so I'm looking forward for this. And stay tuned to my channel. I'm gonna have another build here soon. I'll show you guys what that is what build that is and yeah until next time i'll catch you guys later bye for now